Fred, I'm here with Travis Whitaker, Deer Hollow's Director of National Outreach and Sloan Rampton, Director of Outpatient Services. Great to have you guys with us. Thanks so much for being here. A very important conversation to uh, have in our community. Uh, let's start off with you, Travis. Uh, what are the services for addiction that you guys offer? So we offer residential, we have outpatient, sober living, and it's important to have a whole continuum of care. You have to do the residential part, but you need to have a plan after. So a six month plan, what we offer, you know, you do your 30 to 45 days residential and then transition. It just helps you be more successful in your recovery journey. And what types of addiction do you guys focus on treating? So we, do, we focus on trauma. We've got 35 hours a week of trauma enforced care. So we get to the under root of where addiction's coming from by focusing on the trauma. Okay, uh, so let's bring you in and talk about how that type of addiction can control someone's life and the impact it can have on that. Absolutely. Um, so, I mean, addiction really permeates someone's life from their work, their family, uh, social circles. And so with the continuum of care piece, it's so important because once an individual completes the residential treatment and they go back to their everyday lives, um, they're trying to integrate everything that they have learned into their old life and a lot of new issues can come up a lot of different triggers can come up that they never expected and you know we see a lot of issues within the family as you know their loved one is kind of reintegrating and things are different now and so we work with the individual with the family members um, to really kind of you know help them incorporate a new way of being when you talk about that continuum of care how vital is the family member in that uh, equation very vital I, I yeah. believe we mm -hmm. yeah. extremely important mm -hmm. you know you got to change it up you got to have them involved in the recovery or it's not gonna you're, you're not gonna be successful you can't go back home to the same environment because they're part of the addiction or they're part of the trauma so they have to be in part of the recovery okay uh, a slogan you guys have is we know the way out mm -hmm. what does that mean well for myself I'm in recovery nine and a half years so most of our thank you and most of our staff is in recovery or has a family member it's in recovery so the slogan is we we know the way out, we've been there. All right, and when you are part of that process and you're able to help someone find the way out and get back on their feet, what's that like for you? I, I imagine it must be very re rewarding. It is, it is, yeah. It brings a lot of pride and, and really pride for the individual and knowing everything that they've been through. And um, I mean, they're just happier and their life's different and it feels great. Mm -hmm. All right, so the message here is there is hope for addiction and you too, can make it out of here. Absolutely. Okay. Uh, if anyone is watching, would like more information, where's the best way to connect with you guys? So you can call us at 888-5-WE-KNOW or DeerHollerRecovery.com. Okay. And we'll have all that information on our website as well, GoodForYouTod.com. Uh, once again, you guys, very important conversation in our community. Thanks yeah. for being here and uh, sharing your insight with us. Appreciate it. Thanks, Glenn. Appreciate it.